three, two, one, go. Oof. I'm wondering, do I, do I want to just try, try some of those suicide strats, just see how they feel? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it every other run to try to force myself to um, get used to the strat, get used, like, because I know it's a fun strat, it's not always the best strat, all that stuff. Cartographer Flame Barrier. <laughs> And we actually got gold, so we got gold gain, we got cartography, and we have the, be the best damage spell for speedruns. Yeah. Well, I think that tells me why I need to think about suicide strats. Alright. So. Up and right gives me a lot of heirloom, gives me a lot of opportunities at heirlooms. Alright, there's the apple. We know up is right there, and then we just keep going right, and we'll find book, and then we go down to find there. Alright. So we just keep going straight right, and it will be that path will be available for us until we find book. I trust myself. Alright, found book. Far Choice is right there, so I don't even have to worry. Alright. So now I just go left here, and down, straight down. Oof. Good health. Good meat. Good God, let's eat. <laughs> Wish it, someone wished for good health and good wealth to my family. Definitely feel it. Oh. Well. Here. Oh, I actually have to go all the way around because... Oh, that's on cooldown. Right? Because the alternative strat involves the shield block, which doesn't get off cooldown in time. My mistake. Oh, well. That seems all bad and stuff, but then you realize, um, I'm just gonna face Lamech. Kill Lamech easily at 198 health. And then I'm going to, um, Axis Mundi and getting a new heirloom, so all this damage me is meaningless. Yeah. Once you realize that, that one piece of meat really is... Even that going back for that one piece of meat is a mistake. Huh. Yeah, think about that. Pretty nice. Um, oh. One more up. Alright, we'll pick up that other treasure chest on the way back. Yeah. I'm sure it's of no surprise that um, health is irrelevant anyways, just don't get hit once. Just make every run an Ostenogesis run, why not? <laughs> Oof. Taking some unnecessary damage, but I'll be fine. Again, this all looks bad. Until you realize we're getting full health and mana in just a few seconds.
Alright. Whew. So now we go to book. From book we can teleport to Axis Mundi. From entrance we can teleport to Stygian Study. It might be of value to just go to Stygian Study to um, A, unlock the teleport, and B, make sure that, like, get an idea of what the area looks like in case something goes bad for my cartographer. But for now, we're just gonna do our theme, head through Axis Mundi. I'm really offended that my last, that in the previous run, I had a creep character die in Axis Mundi, so. I intend for that to not happen this time. Oh my gosh, I just realized. I'm like, we didn't get many um, gold chests, so that's an issue. But then I just realized we have a plus 25% gold increase, so the only thing we're missing out on is equipment. And if just that wasn't equipment, we got 250 additional gold from Lamech. We'll be getting another like 300... Let's see. Yeah, 375 gold from Void Beast Barrett. So, like, all our money chests are actually perfectly accounted for. Did that wrong, but I just adapted to fix my mistake. Could have done that faster if I didn't make that mistake, though. Won't deny that. Alright. Darn malls. Taking some damage I don't want to take. I'll still be fine against um, the next boss, but definitely bring it closer and closer to bad times. And I meant to kick off of that. Well, that was just me being stupid there. That was actively my mistake. All right. Making some active mistakes right now. Oh well. We do want to get some meat too. That would very much be appreciated. But I am okay with things as they are. I am perfectly happy to teleport over to um, go grab the sticky and study, check it out, and then go grab book or something like that to heal up. I'm okay taking detours to keep this life safe. That moved. That fiend attacked a lot faster than I expected it to. I'm going to go for an apple. If I'm not, then I might get... Yeah, I might have gone a relic that was good, but... Thank you, Blobfish. I appreciate your sacrifice. Yeah, now that money um, teleports to you if it falls in the water, Blobfish aren't just threat, aren't just not threatening. They're actually a positive to run into. All right, I am okay facing them with this much health, but if I take one more pip of damage, I think I gotta um, go be protective a bit. Weapon? Warden weapon. Ex I asked for a weapon. I was expecting... Technically, I was, yeah, hoping for leather weapon, but it just told me 
expect greater things. Expect greater things. Alright, 100 health. I can take one hit from Barith and still live. That's perfectly fine by me. I'm going to do this right. I have more than enough for teleport. If something goes horribly wrong. Which it won't. And they two, the two of them were very friendly. They hugged for a very long time. And, like, even, like, healthy hugs where I can just sit there and whack at them and not really worry about things. Blobfish died, but no money got sucked to you. I thought I saw, um, like, three gold pieces from one of the blobfish before. Like, not every blobfish has money, but when they have money, apparently any money that falls in the water gets sucked to the player, which is awesome. Like, they added that plus the 20% gold, which I think is a little overboard. Or at least that's what I understood. I could be wrong, but that's my understanding of what happened. How they changed the mechanics. Meat. Appreciated. Might actually be useful. Might actually keep me alive before I... Alright. So. We're forced to go that way. And then we have Nama and... Alright. So we have all the li both lilies right there, and it's a bit of a coordinated effort to get there, though. So we have to go down. We're done 70 resolve. No thanks. Alright, so where I'm at... So the second down, or just keep going right... So right here is the Maw, and here is Far Shores. Perfect. Playing Ragey with your additional hour, you'd probably sleep. Yep, sounds about right. Uh, maybe the Blob to Fish was just poor. <laughs> yep. Love fiends. What was that one um, out of context quote? Santa, why, are, why aren't you... Giving me any presents because, kid, your family's poor. Oh, oh, oh! And they just left. It was actually supposed to be like about the family being poor in Christmas spirit, but it's just like you cut it out of context. That's just <laughs> even worse. <laughs> the worst part about it is it kind of makes sense in that bad context. So. You can believe it being an actual quote, which makes it even worse. Oof. But yeah. So Flying Ragey would sleep, probably. I'm assuming um, Suicude would get some of his um, Japanese study in. I would, honestly, I just feel like if there was another hour of the day, it'd be like, what if we lost an hour of the day? Where would you take it? It's... I feel like there's type that I use that's just relaxation and stuff that doesn't need to be um, used for relaxation and that's, it's just, that would get removed and if I have additional hours, that's where it will be added, you know? These out of context are so funny most of the time. Yep. Alright. So I know exactly where two of the lilies are. They're right next to each other and they're very far away. That's the three things I'm dealing with. So yeah, left down, gosh, I'm going to explore this thing and study with this character. I'd remove an hour of work. Hey man, you figured out your priorities, sweet dude. <laughs> uh, come on. So I know that sticky and study is like directly up, or just about. Alright, we'll get a free chest along the way. Another streamer I watch is going to continue Metroid Fusion today. Can't wait to bully him. 
uh, every time I have a stream, I watch a streamer that plays through Rogue Legacy, I always um, give them all the Pog Champs when they beat the first phase of Enoch n Luck, and don't realize there's a second phase. Alright. I'm gonna go find Murmur, and then I'm gonna come back for that. So I need to go. Oh, that's a dead end. So we need to go this way. Alright. So I'm just trying to figure out where I am. Oh, here is where I am. I guess we're just grabbing this heirloom now. I'd rather sit, leverage it for health, but like, this is where we're at. Is Metroid Fusion a GBA game? Um, I think so. Um, he's right before Yakuza, the spider boss, for those who don't know. So he's about to get- oh, yeah. So, Fusion was apparently the introduction for people into Metroid, and it's like, because of that, a lot of people love Fusion, but also, um, a lot of people who grew up with Metroid did it really had some issues, because, um, Metroid Fusion went away from the Metroidvania aspect of you go where you want to go, and, um, the story kind of just happens sort of thing, and it became far more linear, and a lot of people, the linearity made it more approachable. But for, like, the long-time veterans, it felt like, you know, a loss of what made Metroid so special. Darn it. I was trying to kill that before I made a mistake. But, yeah, love Prime as well. Prime was... Di Prime was different in visual mechanics, but still had the Metroidvania world, and that's what mattered about Prime. It was the first third-person Metroidvania, and that's what made Prime amazing. That's actually what got me into Metroidvania. As for Fusion, my main issue with it is the um, like so many of the upgrade, so many of the like bonus upgrades are in the um. How do I explain? So many of the bonus upgrades in um, Metroid Prime, or sorry, in Metroid Fusion, are at like this very end pickup phase, where you know you you've been told what to do the entire game, and then he asks you to like he asks you something and you have to object, go this direction, and to get to the rest of the story. And if you don't object, they'll lock you in and like basically take you to the end game of the story. Yeah, the cleanup phase. There we are. The cleanup phase is just at this random time, and you can miss the you can miss the th warp that allows you to actually do cleanup phase at all. That's the thing that I really hate. You could just miss cleanup phase. I was like saying, you know what? I should probably go kill Nama now that I have Amaterasu's son. But then I just realized I still need to get lilies for Nama, so that's not happening. Oof. That's okay. You can actually go into main reactor, though, since there's a main deck sector 2 shortcut, and every sector has shortcuts to two other sectors. Yeah. Granted, if you don't think of that, you're screwed, and if you don't find it, if you never knew that was a thing, then you're screwed as well. That's the two issues. Alright, so we know that we're up and to the left with the other one. I'm gonna actually... We have a very strong character. I'm gonna go find the lilies for Nama, because I know where they are. And we're just going to take care of that. So we go all the way left. Oof. 
that was not a fun room. But we managed to take minimum damage, I feel. I mean, I guess we didn't take zero damage, but... Alright. Down and to the right. We're literally going around the edges of this place. Oof. Nope. So we have to go to the end of this room and then up into the left. Definitely taking more damage than I want to. Like, not even close. Alright, here they are. One lily. Except you have to use the main reactor path after Yakuza. Yep. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do this double jump style, because I have double jump. Yeah, have a great stream. Thank you for stopping by, sweet dude. I'll have a great stream. Don't you worry about that. Alright, so here's the question. Do I just take this character and kill them all? I think the answer is yes. Um, I'm going to stop by Sun Tower real fast, make sure that um, I know my if there's any weird routes, I could account for it. Alright, up left left. Alright, so you just left left it. That's perfectly fine. So I'll kill Nama. I can take two hits during Nama. And then once I'm done with Nama, I go um, I immediately kill I immediately could grab Book and use that to go find Gone Heads and Enoch. Alright. I think that's actually too close, because if they walk forward, I can't get that. Alright. I just wasn't sure where those holes were. I wanted to be safe. Because, you know, if you can take this no hit, you take this no hit. There we go. So, we have... One hundred and twenty-eight health. Gone heads deals exactly one hundred damage every time I face them, so I think that's just set. So yeah, I think we're gonna try to get gone heads now. At the very least, we will find the pathing to gone heads, and then from there we're going to um, grab book. All right, so we're there. So just left, all the way left, and then. Um, for Enoch, I go right and up one. And for Gone Heads, I from all that stuff. Round one. Alright. 103 if they're level 67, 100 if they're level 65. Thank you, Lambadroid. Thank you. Either way, we are no longer at that health total, so... I'm going to go grab Book. This character is valuable enough that I'm going to protect them. Alright. Gotta note that I do not have my plus 6 strength, so the, the enemies don't get one shot. That being said, we have Amaterasu's son, so they will inevitably, they will eventually get one shot, just not at any time interval I can handle that I should be 
okay with. There we are. Fastest route. It's okay, that's 28 damage, which means a single thing of meat heals. Whew, I'm so glad they started floating items out of water. Made some mistakes, but we recovered. And yeah, you need a little intelligence for that um, shield bash maneuver to work here. So, not going to bother with that. Alright, so now we go back to Enoch. We go from Enoch down to Gone Heads. Alright. And from Gone Heads, we... Yeah, once Gone Heads is dead, we just teleport to Enoch. Once Enoch's dead, we climb the Sun Tower. And we know we're just staying to the left. Ooh, and we even have an apple afterwards. I'd play more games if I had another hour, honestly. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, if I had another hour, I would probably just laze around with it. I might. I feel like I would take 45 minutes to laze around, and then another 15 minutes of sleep. Something like that. Hmm. Alright. Up the movement a little bit. Oh well. I'm just gonna shield dash that, make it easy on myself. Let's hope I get some nice fight attacks, which I did. Alright, I gotta keep attacking to keep this flame bearer up, which is very important for stopping all the chasers. Was I attacking the wrong direction? Sleep was also what I thought of. Yep. Oof. Well, we made a little mistake. It's alright. I should have really used my shield bash there, but it's alright.
Yeah, right here. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't take damage there, so I'm appreciative. There we go. We have used book. We have used all our healing except for a single apple, which the question is, is it worth backtracking for a single apple? I think the answer is no. Does sun applied burn with spin kicks? No, only weapon attacks. Only weapon attacks. All right. So, I think, yeah, I'm just going to try to climb the tower. That's all that's left for this character to do. I will go back for that, though. 10,000 gold, guys. Alright. So, I just want to go to the tallest room here. And then, from the tallest room, I will have access to the next one, which will have another tallest room. So... Routing's pretty easy with today's tower. Alright. So I do need to get to the tallest room. I'm just using that to reset. Oop. Oh well, we took 95 damage. Not much I could have done with it about it. Alright, so from here... I'm just gonna do that to get through. Alright, so from this room we actually have a way all the way to the top. Whew. If I can make it. Use this, reset. Woo! There we are. Made it. Yeah. I don't think this character is going to win it because I'd have to do it without getting hit once, but I'm going to try. Do the bats have more than one tier yet? Do the. Um, I vaguely recall the name sounding oddly. Yeah, they have... I think every enemy has a third tier at this point. I just don't remember the names of them all. Alright, yes. Use that. Use the chasers with this character. Ron chasers, bikes. I appreciate the... Uh, the attempt. Used all my resources, and this was a one life run. Yes, it was a powerful life that got cartographer, but it was technically one life. We never used architect in this run. Woo, that's actually really good.
I'm not sure how fast it was. It was an architect run, so it was an architect flame barrier run, so this might be really fast. I just have no fast no idea how fast that actually is. 3205! Oh my gosh! In case anyone's wondering, my PB was 38 minutes. My PB was 38 minutes. I took six minutes off with that. Oh my gosh. I, uh, I'm gonna have to go check with Mindful Line. About how good that is. I have no- Lambadroid, does that beat Mindful? I don't know. I know that's super fast. Maybe it's world record. I'm a- You know, I'm just gonna go check. Um, see what the last thing Mindful posted on it. I know Mindful's been doing a lot of different categories. But, so, it's possible that it is. It's possible that's not. Um, full world clear, um, 3332 in game time. That's what Mindful Line says is his fastest run. Um, this is, yeah, full world clear. Awesome. So let's see. Yeah, I think that means I beat his time. Uh. Okay. That's good. Well done, it does, by at least one minute. Yeah, so I will state. Horribly lucky. Horribly lucky. Um, Flame Barrier plus Cartographer, later finding Amaterasu's son. Like, horribly lucky. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mindful Line. I do appreciate it. Uh, so, I, yeah. I have a world record again, guys. <laughs> ah. That's good. Huh. I'm just gonna chill for a bit. <laughs> 